delicious. Hello and welcome to Ruby's Classic Cooking. Today I'm going to make turkey pot pies. Yesterday I cooked a turkey, so today I have leftover turkey and you're all probably going, oh my god, what are you going to do with that? Yuck. But you know what? Everybody gets turkeyed out after they have a big turkey dinner. And then you go, what am I going to do with the leftovers? Well, this is what I like to do with my leftover turkey. Now, my husband likes hot turkey sandwiches, so he'll have a hot turkey sandwich. Or and then, in a month or so, when they're not all turkeyed out, we can have a lovely turkey pot pie, which makes a wonderful meal. It's like having a turkey pot pie all in one big pot. One pot wonder and really no effort. So, here's what I'm going to do today. I've got my leftover gravy right here. I use a big ceramic pitcher when I'm pouring my gravy out. I find it's got a nice handle to take to the table to pour your gravy on, your potatoes and things. And it keeps your gravy warm because it's nice and thick. So, I don't use my gravy boat anymore. I use this instead. So that's my gravy went into the fridge in that yesterday. I'm just going to scrape this out of here. And i got this great big mixing bowl here to mix all of my stuff in. So for my, my turkey pot pies. So I just clean out my gravy. Yeah. And I've got three cans of cream of mushroom soup. You can use just about any kind of cream of soup, but cream of mushroom goes on sale. And I think I paid 50 cents a can for this because it was on sale. And normally, at least, at least recently in the grocery store, it's $2.50 a can. If you want to buy a can of a miserable can of soup, for Pete's sakes. So anyway, I just make my, I'm just going to throw my three cans of cream of mushroom soup in here. And I'm going to combine that. You know how you buy those turkey pot pies at the grocery store? And they have like three vegetables and a whole mass of cream and maybe if you chase around enough you'll find two little pieces of turkey. Well you know what? My turkey pot pies aren't like that at all. My turkey pot pies are loaded with vegetables, they're loaded with turkey, and they are really really tasty. And I have them in the freezer all labeled and whenever we want a quick meal I can just go and take that, put it in the oven for an hour at 400 degrees, Fahrenheit, which is uh, what, 205, 205 Celsius, and you have four servings, four nice big servings of turkey pot pie, which are worth eating. Now, I don't know what kind of vegetables you like, but we like mixed vegetables, and I find a bag of mixed vegetables goes in this next, and if I need more vegetables, I just open another bag of mixed vegetables and pour them in. This is uh, peas, corn, carrots, and green beans, which is like, so you're having a dinner with four vegetables. Well, the only thing missing out of this is the mashed potatoes, which don't freeze particularly well in the pies, so I just pour that whole thing in there, just like that. All right, and I got my big spoon here to stir with, my spatula to stir with, and I just mix these together. And... That's going to have lots of veggies in it. And if I don't think it's got enough veggies, like I said, I'll just get another bag of big frozen vegetables and throw them in there. Since I'm going to freeze these pies anyway, I use these vegetables from frozen and I don't thaw them out. Now the next thing I'm going to do before I get my cutting board all mixed up with, messed up with turkey, um, sometimes I make my own pie crust from scratch and sometimes I'm feeling lazy and it's on sale, so I buy some pie crust. And because I have my own pie plates, I bought the kind that comes rolled up in a roll. Uh, you can buy the kind that comes in a tin foil pie plate, and or you can make your own from scratch. But today, like I said, I'm being lazy. So I'm just going to unroll my pie crust. And these are actually half decent pie crusts. I used one this weekend to make a... Uh, make a lemon meringue pie for dessert and everybody thought the pie crust turned out really nicely so these are really decent pie crust because if they weren't people wouldn't buy them so I'm just going to put this down in here sometimes when I'm doing this I don't put a bottom crust on I just put a top crust on but it makes it a little harder to serve your pie 
So if you don't want to have a bottom crust, you don't have to. You can just have a top crust. Anyway, there we go. I know turkey pot pie in different parts of the country uh, in North America is different because sometimes turkey pot pie is, is um, all turkey and then you cook the vegetables separately. But my turkey pot pies in, include the vegetables. And this is my leftover cranberry sauce. And when I'm all done, I'm going to put a big blob of that right in the middle of my crust. Right in the middle of my, my pie on top, underneath my crust. Because then it's just like a turkey dinner. And if I want some potatoes, well, all I have to do is boil some potatoes. So there's my one done. And I'm pretty sure I'm going to have at least two. So I'll put another one in here. So wrap them in plastic wrap. And then I put, tin, I put foil over top of them and that the uh, foil over top of them and then I write on it with my ma magic marker turkey pot pie and the date and pop them in my freezer and then like I said an hour at 400 degrees because the only thing you really have to cook is your pie crust because all of the filling inside is completely cooked well your vegetables aren't cooked but it doesn't take very long for those frozen vegetables to cook up and as long as it's thawed out and bubbling hot it's good to eat because your turkey of course is all cooked. You could do this with chicken as well if you wanted to. And when you see what I put in my turkey pot pie you'll see that it's not going to be all soupy stuff. The, you know, it's going to be vegetable and meat. It's not, you know, and I use up every bit of my leftover turkey meat to do this. I don't have any leftovers to go in the green bin afterwards. So I'm just going to chop my turkey up. I'm going to take my, my uh, skin off and make sure that there's no inedible bits. Like for some reason, my husband took the knuckle joints off of the uh, off of those wings, and they're like cartilage. I don't know why I carved that off yesterday. <laughs> he was being very efficient, I guess. So anyway, the dark meat, the light meat, the white meat doesn't matter when you're doing turkey pot pie. You can use it all, and I like to use it all. Here now. Chop this up and then I just fill and I'll see how many pie pl how many pie shells I'm going to be filling. I don't know if I'll have two pies or three pies today. It all depends on how much filling I have to go around here. But even if I have two turkey pot pies, well, one turkey pot pie this size, it's a nine inch pie plate. That makes dinner for my husband and I for two nights in a row. That makes four servings, so for us that's two meals. Well, for four people it would be one meal. <laughs> All depends on how many people you're feeding. And if there's only one of you, well, you might want to get the smaller pie plates. There's uh, eight inch pie plates, which wouldn't put as much filling in it. And uh, you could probably eat that in two meals, an eight inch pie plate. So, uh, but for two people, it's just two nights in a row we have turkey pot pie. Anyway, there we go. Just chop this up. And sometimes, like when you have leftovers like this, these are all little bits and pieces of turkey. They're not like, you know, these aren't nice slices. They're just lumps of turkey meat, and I'm just cutting them up. So they'll be bite-sized pieces. Chopped up. There, now. Yeah. I just gather that up by the handfuls. Throw it in here. And I'm just going to stir it up with a spoon in my giant mixing bowl. And then ladle it in by five plates and get them in the freezer. Here we go. Okay. Done with this part. <laughs> All right. Now, see inside my bowl how nice and full that's getting. And I'm just going to stir up my soup, gravy, frozen vegetables, and turkey mixture here till I have it nice and stirred together. Coat all my turkey with the soup. And I find three cans of soup makes a lovely amount. 
along with the leftover gravy. So you kind of have the flavor of the leftover gravy. Now, there you go. There you go, there's my turkey pot pie filling. And I'm just going to fill my pie shells with it and carry on. Then I'll just roll another pie crust and pop it on top of here and this pie will be ready to wrap up and go in the freezer. There. I know it probably doesn't look too delicious and yummy because it's like kind of like you're going to be going that looks a little dodgy but actually it's very tasty very tasty indeed there we go and cranberry sauce here on top this kind of food is not like usually very photogenic it's usually just it's for eating there you go my pie my pie is now filled and I'm going to jump and I'm going to put some of this on top. Nice cranberry, which I made myself. I can't get fresh cranberries. It's April, so I'm using frozen cranberries in this and it made lovely cranberry sauce. So I'm just going to dump a couple of nice big spoonfuls of my cranberry sauce right here on top. When I make my cranberry sauce, it's Cranberries, water, and sugar. I don't add any orange to it. My husband doesn't like that. He just likes plain. <laughs> Since I'm trying to do this for beginners in the kitchen, this is really a very tasty and easy option. And if you don't own any pie plates, you can always buy the pie, the pie, yeah, the frozen pie shells that come in their own tin foil pie plates. However, you need to be careful of those tin pie plates because they're a little fragile when you cook them. You don't want to pick it up and have the thing collapse in like this on you when you're carrying it from the stove over to your to your counter because that would be very bad news. So when you're if you're using foil pie plates in your oven to do this, make sure that you put like a cookie sheet or something underneath of it to support it. So then when you can take it in and out of the oven, you're not just handling the pie plate. Because sometimes those foil ones, like I say, they can collapse. And you don't want boiling hot turkey pot pie going everywhere. You can also do this using your leftover chicken, but I always find when we roast the chicken, there's really not that much left. It's when you're doing a turkey that you have lots of, of, of meat left. And you can do a lovely, lovely turkey pot pie. There we go. And when I'm doing a two crust pie with, the, uh, with those frozen pie, pie uh, shells, I just take it and I turn it upside down over top of my pie to give me a top crust. And then I let, I let it thaw out a bit because if you press it down when it's still frozen, it will crack. Now I'm not going to cut any holes in this pie crust. I'll do that when I'm going to cook it. I'll take it out and unwrap it across my steam vents. Two or three little slits. Because there's no, I don't need to do that right now. Well, it's because uh, I'm just going to freeze it. Now, here's my plastic wrap. I'm just going to wrap my pie in plastic wrap. I don't know, I, I don't like to leave tin foil actually touching my food. I don't know, maybe that's just me, but I like to have something else on top of my pie before I put my foil on. Maybe it would be perfectly okay to just put tin foil directly on my pie crust, but I don't know. I just like to have some plastic wrap there in between the pie crust and the, the aluminum foil. So I'm just going to take my aluminum foil here. It's going here. And this is the, uh, this particular aluminum foil, foil is extra wide heavy duty aluminum foil so that it uh, covers the whole pie and has an extra big one underneath. And I just kind of wrap the whole pot up like that. And now, because I don't have any way of knowing if this is an apple pie or a, or a uh, you know, whatever. I'm just going to take my marker and get one of those permanent markers. Works right so this foil just fine. And I just write tricky pot pie. And today is April 18th, 2022. There we go. And now I know exactly what I'm putting in my freezer. There you go. And then when I go to grab it out of there, I know just what it is, when I made it, 
and that it needs to be it's ready to cook now when I cook one of these I'm gonna carry on with this video and show you the cooked finished pie I hope you like this video and that you'll subscribe and like my like my video There, okay, good. That should be, that should do it, okay. 